You can also listen to us on SoundCloud at soundcloud.com forward slash the clock cleaners. Hello and welcome to the Clock Cleaners Podcast. I'm Matt. And I'm Keith. And today we're going to be doing predictions for the Crown Jewel event. The very controversial event known as Crown Jewel. Yes. Which I will not be watching. <laughs> I'm, I might watch. We'll see. I mean, I can just go on Twitter and find out what happens. There's oh, really I'm, no... I'm sure I'll know who wins everything before right, I right. get a chance to watch it anyway. And yeah, I'm not... That, like I said, I work pretty normal hours, so... Uh, yeah. Although, to be fair, I'm sure if I find out who wins what, based you may off be of intrigued. What, well, I was going to say there's a chance that means that I don't want to watch it based off of what happens. That's fair. <clears throat> so. I mean, there's only really one big match to determine a new champion, so. Yeah. Because one of them we established earlier that is not going to happen. That is true. <laughs> that is true. John sure. Cena, Daniel Bryan, no longer a part of the pay per view. Yep. Um, however, Hulk Hogan in. It's true. He will be hosting. That is the rumor. Which is ridiculous. Which I guess news sites say WWE confirmed it, and I guess it was on their website somewhere. Well, you said that the lineup had Hulk Hogan on it. Oh, I just sent you a picture. Oh, I thought that was from their website. That's what it, I assume it was from. Oh, so you, like didn't, the... you didn't look. You just got the picture. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just guess sent it sense. to you. But then people said they it was confirmed by WWE. Uh-huh. Granted, it is Wednesday. There is still plenty of time before uh, Friday. Uh-huh. So uh, anything can happen. I did see pictures today of the superstars landing in Saudi Arabia. Mm-hmm. They all looked very happy to be there. Sarcastically? Yeah, they all looked miserable. But it could have just been the fact that somebody was taking a picture of all of them. That or the fact that they were on a plane for probably 12 hours. Yeah, at least... So, that could have something to do with it as it's well. It's true. It's true. All right. So, uh, get us started. All right. Um, I guess we'll start with the World Cup, right? I guess so. Is it worth... Yeah, I guess we'll do it uh, We'll do it step by step. Sure. We're um, just going to have to remember who we picked. I guess so. <laughs> so, the first round is Seth Rollins versus Bobby Lashley. Yep. Kurt Angle versus Dolph Ziggler. Mm-hmm. Jeff Hardy versus The Miz. Mm-hmm. And Rey Mysterio versus Randy Orton. Yes. Um, keeping in mind the stipulation that if SmackDown loses, whoever is in the final loses. Yes. That actually might not be a bad place to start. I guess so. I know that sounds weird, but uh, I meant more of SmackDown. Yeah. Because um, Randy Orton kind of makes sense to leave, as dumb yeah. as that sounds. Yeah, absolutely. Um, He's the one with the biggest n- name, notoriety. I mean... Granted, Jeff and Ray do have I was gonna say, value to their name. Before Bobby Lashley got switched for John Cena, this was an entire tournament that was future Hall of Famers. It's ex- true. Except for maybe Dolph. But everyone else is definitely going to be a Hall of Famer. Yeah, so, that's fair. Um, Lashley could be, too. It depends on how the next few... Well, I just read before that there was rumors since Roman and Rock weren't going to happen now at WrestleMania, it was going to be Lashley and The Rock, which make absolutely no sense. No, it doesn't. But like I've said, I'm just reading something that was said. Hopefully that was just fabrication. Stupidity, yeah. Um, <clears throat> anyway. Right, so we'll start on the SmackDown side? Yeah. So... We're just going to get a rematch here. You know that, right? Where you gonna, Jeff it's going to be Orton? Jeff Hardy versus Randy Orton. Yeah, yeah that's possible. Because Jeff's <clears throat> probably going to go over the Miz. Oh, that, I, I I was picking Jeff for the semifinals no matter what. Yeah. So I just, I, I'd rather see Jeff and Mysterio. I agree. So, but, but the- that means that one of them have to win. Because I don't see either of them. Because although... <clears throat> Shane did say he won't. They won't have a home on SmackDown. Right. So I had also guessed that maybe Jeff is just going to retire if he loses. Yeah. So that would kind of make sense. I suppose. So, yeah, I'm going to go with Jeff on the SmackDown side. To, to the to make it to the finals. Yes. All right. I'll, so I'll, Jeff is going to beat the Miz. Um, I think Mysterio is going to beat Orton, and then Jeff will beat Mysterio. Right. All right. And I'm going to go with Randy Orton because I think he's uh. The man that's coming off SmackDown, but okay. but Jeff Hardy is a good guess too, because mm-hmm. I mean this is ba- I, I think this is just going to be the person that's going to replace airtime that was going to be designated to Roman. Mm-hmm. Um, it's true. All right, yeah. 
Raw. Jeez. Oh, I already know what my answer is. Oh, it's not going to be Dolph. No. It's not going to be Bobby Lashley. It no. could be, but it's not going to it's be. It's not going to be. <laughs> you think Kurt Angle's going to make it? I think it's going to be Kurt Angle versus Jeff Hardy. And then Kurt Angle wins? Yes. Kurt Angle's probably the right person to pick. Because mm-hmm. I think Seth's going to end up having this match caused by Dean. But yes, I don't, that's fine. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If, the, if he even is out there, but who knows? There's a good chance Dean won't even go. Right. Although, if Renee's going, he'll probably go, too. Yeah, that, that would make sense. <laughs> so, okay, so we, we have Seth versus Jeff Hardy. Not Seth. Kurt Angle versus Jeff Hardy, and you said Kurt, Kurt Angle. Kurt Angle versus Randy Orton. Okay. So, um, With Kurt Angle going over regardless. Oh, uh, you think he's going to win no matter what? Okay. Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna agree. That makes sense. In that, um, I mean, unless Corbin is there, he was going over with them. Uh-huh. There was pictures. So unless he costs Kurt Angle the match, that's possible, and that'll lead to a Survivor <clears throat> Series match, right? And that would leave everyone on SmackDown. Unless Seth Rollins <clears throat> wins, and that creates more heat with him and Dean, because mm. now all of a sudden Seth's best in the world. When did Dean lost to Dolph? Right in the in the what? In the qualifying yes. matches? Yes. Right. Yeah. Seth beat McIntyre. Uh, right. Dolph beat, beat Dean. Dean. Hmm. So. Hmm. Or is Bobby Lashley going to win it all? No. Hulk Hogan's going to raise his hand at the end. I guess that And was, that's going to... That was a thought at one point. <laughs> yes, I remember. That was what? SummerSlam? We thought it was going to be yeah. Bobby Lashley versus Lesnar, and that was going to happen? Yep, and Hulk Hogan was going to be the special enforcer. I guess that's possible. It could happen. I don't know. Now now everything's all screwed up. There's so many ways it can go. It's true. Yeah. Um. Nah, I'll still pick Kurt Angle. Okay, Kurt Angle, it. you beating Randy Orton in the yeah. finals. Got it. And I have good. Kurt Angle beating Jeff Hardy. Oh, okay, so, so you think Kurt's going to win Jeff? Yeah, it, it just makes a lot of sense. Um, and then... Well, I could see Kurt and Randy. If Randy loses, he goes over to Raw, and he goes on to Team Corbin. Would make sense. If they do that Corbin angle thing. Yeah. But then again, do we see Kurt Angle wrestling three matches? Or two matches. It's two matches that you have to win. That's three. Three, yeah, yeah. Um, well, they'd probably have him in the first match. And then, oh, he's going to be Dolph, hands down. There's no, no, uh, no, I'm saying in the first match of the night. Oh, oh, oh yeah. And then... Because the pro- there's not much in between. No. That's what the concerning part is. Yeah. And that kind of puts a damper on everybody mm. in this match. You Unless we get Kurt versus Seth in the second round, that's when Dean calls Seth the match. So it's a short so match. So it's a short match. That would make sense. Because mm-hmm. uh, I was going to say, Seth's really the only one in this entire tournament that can really really go for yeah. three matches yeah well, or three normal right, size right, matches right. so bobby lashley definitely can't he was winded after one <laughs> um uh, ziggler probably could too yeah, but, but don't, we don't see him doing we it we don't need to see seth first off again <laughs> yeah um jeff kind of can it the third match certainly wouldn't be as good yeah. as the other ones um the miz could probably but it is kind of intriguing. Yeah. So, but yeah, but it, yeah, it's still go with Kurt just mm-hmm. because it makes the most sense. Yeah. Why are you going to bring him back for a big match and have him and lose? put him in here for no reason? Yeah. Right. So, because I mean, it's I don't know. It's kind of like separate from you know the normal shows and things like bit. that. I mean, it's not it's not as much as like the Greatest Royal Rumble and stuff were. Yeah. But all right. Yeah. So Kurt Angle. <sighs> awesome. Uh, the Bar versus the New Day for the SmackDown Tag Team Championship. Yeah, the Bar's gonna win. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, they're gonna hold on to those titles. Yeah, <laughs> like we said during our SmackDown review or our review, is uh, New Day doesn't need the titles to be interesting or Mm-mm. compelling on TV. Nope. So why give it to them? And you still have the whole Big Show thing, and you know that's not gonna be over. It's true, and they can give another team an opportunity to participate mm-hmm. in. It. In the tag team division. I guess so. Like the club. I want the club to come back. Or the colognes. Yeah, who cares about them? <laughs> um, and then we have uh, AJ versus Samoa Joe, the brand new made match. Yes. Yeah. Announced on, last um, night on SmackDown. SmackDown. You are picking Samoa Joe 100%. Oh, yes. 
you have full confidence in him. Yeah, so AJ's going <laughs> to win, hands down. Yeah. He could probably win with his eyes closed and his hands behind his back. Well, you know. Um, so Samoa Joe will not be seeing that title. Nope. Ever. Not happening. Um, let's see. And then we have Brock Lesnar versus Braun Strowman for the vacant WWE Universal Championship. I really, 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 really hope Braun wins it. Uh, yeah. So uh, I'm going to vote for Braun and cross my fingers. Brock, huh? and, well, I usually vote against Braun. Well, it's just because you want to see yeah. him lose. Uh-huh. Yes. Um, yeah, I, 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 I don't want to see Brock Lesnar. Yeah, near the nobody title again. Does, nobody does, except um, for maybe Vince. Yeah, because there was original talk about making this into a triple threat match with McIntyre added. That'd be fine, because well, then you could have two people potentially win it. Right, exactly. So, and then you create a storyline regardless from yeah. there. When when Brock Lesnar's chances are go up from thirty three to fifty, mm, it's scary. It's scary. Well, I mean, where do you go if Brock wins the title? Nowhere. Nowhere. That's the point. And then, but then we just get Braun versus McIntyre again. Then there's no title. Yeah, it's terrible. But that's something they would do. I know. What's the scary part? <laughs> yeah, it is. All it's right. very bad. Yeah. Okay. Just, so the hope is Braun, but not 100 percent convinced that WWE is going to pull the trigger. On that. Oh yeah, no, no, no. Mm-hmm. There, there's there's no guarantee. No, no guarantee. I wonder what was the reaction when he won the Greatest Royal Rumble? Do you Braun? remember? I'm sure it was good. Yeah, I would imagine so. I mean, granted, that was really not a huge crowd reaction, except when Randy Orton came out. Yeah, I, I would I would there. imagine that the reaction on Raw after mm. this. For Braun would be much greater than Brock. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, and that's really all that matters. Yep. So. And this would be the time to do it. Mm-hmm. It'd be the easiest time. That's true. Sure. Um, and then the retirement home match, yep. right? DX versus the Brothers of Destruction. Um, I think the Brothers of Destruction are going to win this. Didn't Undertaker win the other match? Nope. Or did Triple, Triple H, H win? Okay. Yep. So, yeah, that's a, that's a fair guess. Mm-hmm. It would make sense. Yeah. But this whole thing's so dumb. I, I know. But, but, but Shawn but. Michaels did come out of retirement. It's true. So you think he's going to come out just to lose his last match? It's not going to be his last match. Are you dumb? What, you think he's going to keep going? Yes. At least maybe for the big pay-per-views. Really? I'm, well, all right. So the rumor was that I'm sure Sean got X amount of dollars for doing this event. So uh-huh. WWE said, no, no, no. You're not getting away with one event for all this money. You're going to sign on for all these dates, and you can have this money. I guess. That would make sense. Yeah, whatever. I don't care. That make a difference. As long as he doesn't, like, heal over in the ring, I guess it's not a big no. deal. No. Well, I'm sure he's in wrestling shape because he's yeah. been the, the, the Undertaker the looks better than he did years ago. That's true. When we thought he was going to die in Hell in a Cell. Yeah. Legitimately worried. So. All right. So, so that you, makes sense. Are you going to pick DX or are you going to pick Brothers? I'm going to pick DX. All right. Just good. To just to be different. Yeah. Very good. So. Very, very good. Now, Brother Destruction, I think uh, yeah, they're going to win whatever. it. Whatever. It's fine. All that dirty money. Yeah. It's true. And they keep on saying how much they want to kill DX. So they got the extra passion, I guess. Sure. I don't know. The whole, the whole thing is dumb. It is. But whatever. Um, but we have, what, nine more years of this? Right? It was a 10-year deal? I don't, I don't. Was it 10 years or 10 shows? I thought it was 10 years, but you could be right. Because that would make a lot more sense. Mm. If they're going to do more than one show a year, Yeah. how could you possibly have a 10-year deal without a like a named amount of shows? I know everyone said years, Yeah. but I, I was under the impression that it meant one show per, per year. Per year. So it could be a 10 show 10 deal. show deal. I don't know. Apparently we'll it sold out though. Yes. Didn't we talk about this the other day where it's the government <laughs> paid for all yeah. the tickets and they're just yeah. giving them away? $3 tickets. Yeah. Well, but yeah, I think that's what they were on sale for. It was like 6 bucks or yeah. something like that. Cuz, you know, why not? They're why paying not? for the whole thing anyway. You might it's as well true. pay for the tickets. Too. Yeah. So that's yeah. even more money going to the WWE. <laughs> Yeah, it's something. Mm-hmm. This is uh, WWE stock has been dropping like crazy, which makes no sense. I think people have kind well, of soured on. Yeah, things. I guess it's it's more of the perception than the actual. Yeah, 
quality. Is that what you're saying? No, well, because uh, you know, making all this money doing this. Stuff oh like yeah, this. no, but their third quarter earnings were terrible. It's, they were like negative for live events. That's so weird. It doesn't make a whole lot of mm, sense. So not getting the. I mean, how many times do we see pictures of SmackDown and Raw not no one there, not even sold out? Yeah. I mean, like I was worried when we were sitting in Evolution and the opposite side of us was empty half of it was empty and then all of a sudden it filled in but there yeah. was a i was like wow this is gonna be one of those shows yeah it's true but we've seen a lot and there's too much content that is also nothing true. is special it's not like oh it's wwe's in town again mm -hmm. it's not like oh they're here once a year mm -hmm. i mean they're running like three shows a year at coliseum well we they're at the very least in the new york or in new york yeah. several times yeah. a year it's true because we went to raw in august and they had mm -hmm. they had the entire weekend there right um and evolution then at the coliseum evolution at the coliseum and raw was back at the coliseum back in april yeah like we went last year mm -hmm. and they were probably there at the beginning of the year and they're going to be in madison square garden yeah. well right for raw uh 25 they were in new york city yes yes that's right yeah and then they're going to msg yeah. right? and and nassau the the i think both oh, okay yeah so, so yeah so yeah yep i think that it's has true. a lot to do with it's it it's definitely well. possible too much we're just suckers who want to go too much well i guess that's true we did go for free once so yeah those were crappy seats they were <laughs> they were and we did pay for evolution so uh, yep we did but we made up for it we did so so uh yeah that was our crown jewel preview and predictions video yes yeah, so if you liked what you saw here please like share and subscribe bye bye